Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, it is uh, the third part of uh, the summary of this book, The Success Principles. वैसे तो ये एक ही किताब है लेकिन मैंने कन्वीनियंस के लिए इसके चार ऐसे बनाए हैं ताकि इसको डिटेल में डिस्कस किया जा सके इससे पहले हम दो वीडियोस में अराउंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्रिंसिपल हम स्टडी कर चुके हैं नाउ स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम प्रिंसिपल नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन और टोटल इसके जो प्रिंसिपल इस किताब में हैं वो हैं सिक्सटी फोर टूडे वी विल डिस्कस फ्रॉम प्रिंसिपल ट्वेंटी सेवन टू ऑनवर्ड एंड इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल कंप्लीट द समरी ऑफ दिस बुक the highlights of this book principle number 27 keep an eye on the prize stay focused on your goals just in bed before sleep acknowledge your successes review your goals focus on your successful future and make specific plans for what you want to accomplish the next day visualize your ideal day for next day principle number 28 clean up your messes and your incompletes continually ask yourself what does it take to actually get this task completed 10 things completed have more power than 50 things half completed make specific for uh, make space for something new fix the irritants remove the clutter from your life stay organized principle number 29 complete the past to embrace the future none of us has uh, has the power to change our yesterdays but all of us can change our tomorrows forgive and move on forgive and bring bring yourself back to the present recite this affirmation several times each day i will release myself from all the demands and judgments that have kept me limited i allow myself to go free to live in joy love and please to experience clear i choose to be free and allow others to be free i forgive myself and them human beings can forgive anything no matter how tragic or brutal it is principle number 30 face what is not working facts don't cease to exist because they are ignored be honest with yourself never ignore the yellow alerts when more of what doesn't work would and make it work any better recognize such bad situations and deal with them don't be afraid to face facts squarely don't deny facts the more you face uncomfortable situations the better you get at it make a list of things not working in your life face the question how can it be improved take action uh, take a uh, take action to uh, take action immediately to fix it principle number 31 embrace change change is the law of life don't resist change look for opportunities in changes to make your life richer easier and full more fulfilling principle number 32 transform your inner critic into inner coach focus on your self talk make it positive encouraging and refreshing for you your negative thoughts will kill you gradually talk to yourself like a winner transform your negative self talk into positive self talk replace your thoughts of limitation with thoughts of unlimited possibility replace your victim language and your thought with the language of empowerment allow uh, all of that is possible with a little awareness focus and intention kill your automatic negative thoughts focus on the positive developments look for things to appreciate in every situation write down all the things you appreciate in your life silence your performance critic 
redirect the communication with within from one of judgment and criticism to one of correction and support. Tell your inner critic to stop criticizing and blaming or you will stop listening to it. Tell that inner voice that you are not willing to listen to any more character assassinations and name calling. Tell it that you are willing to listen to certain suggestions to improve your performance. Turn your inner critic into inner coach by listening only to productive suggestions. The past is over and there is nothing you can do to change it. You can only learn from it and improve your performance the next time. Principle number 33. Transcend your limiting beliefs. Identify those beliefs that are limiting you and then replace them with positive ones that support your success. You are capable of accomplishing your goals. Don't say I can't. You can do every task which you want to accomplish. You are capable of handling anything that comes up in your life means that you are not you are no longer afraid of anything. Believe that you deserve to be treated well with respect and dignity. I wouldn't settle for less than I deserve. I will do whatever it takes to create that for myself. How to become, how to overcome any limiting belief. Identify your limiting belief. Make a list of all such beliefs. Determine how the belief limits you. Decide how you want to be, to act or feel. Create a turnaround statement that affirms or gives you permission to be, to act or feel this new way. Develop four new success habits a year. Adopt those habits which lead you to success. A research shows that 90% of our behavior is habitual. Habits help free up your mind while your body is automatic. If you want to create higher levels of success, you will drop some of your habits and replace them with more productive habits. Examples of more productive habits are eating healthy, exercise, eight hours sleep, responding phone calls, being on time, being productive, saving at least 10% of your income, getting up early, reading for at least an hour a day, planning an ideal day next while in bed before sleep, habits, good or bad, deliver results. Success requires focused action, personal discipline, and lots of energy every day to make things happen. Your success habits could bring you all the money you want, the wonderful, loving relationship you desire, a healthier, energized body, plus all sorts of new opportunities. Put up signs for reminder. Principle number 35, 90%, 99% is failure, 100% is success. There is a difference between interest and commitment. When you are interested in doing something, you do it only when it, when it is convenient. When you are committed to something, you do it anyway without accepting any excuses. 100% commitment works perfectly. There are no exceptions. No exception rule makes your life easier. Stand firm on your commitment. If you break your commitment one time, it is much easier to break it the next time. Make a 100% commitment to your disciplines like read for an hour, practice any sport, learn a new skill, do push-up, run, pray, and do whatever to achieve your goals. 100% Commitment brings success. 99.9% .9 commitment may be failure. Stay committed to 100% excellence in everything you do. Principle number 36. Learn more to earn more. Adopt simple behaviors like reading for an hour a day. Attend classes and training programs. Cut your TV time. Read success principles. Readers are leader and vice versa. Read the biographies of the great men. You can't put your hand in a pot of glue without some of that glue sticking. Study the lives of great people. Attend success seminars, lectures. Be humble, open to learning and teachable. Listen to those who have earned the right to speak, who have already done what you want to do. Be prepared when opportunity knocks. 
identify skills you need to learn in order to achieve your goals and then start learning them. Attend human potential trainings. Commit to lifelong learning and improvement. Stay motivated with the successful. Fuel your success with passion and enthusiasm. When you do a thing, do it with your, with all your might. Put your whole soul into it. Stamp it with your own personality. Be active, energetic, enthusiastic, and faithful. True passion comes from within and it can be channeled into amazing feats of success. Enthusiasm and passion come as a result of caring about what you do. If you love your work and enjoy doing it, you are already a success. When player of work is equal to player of player, you have won. Make your life wonderful by loving what you do or by doing what you love. Two, days, two ways to keep enthusiasm and passion alive. Do what you love to do. Connect with the original purpose of doing something. Principle number 39. Build your success team. Stay focused on your core genius. Success follows doing what you want to do. Core genius means doing something for love. You hardly feel like charging people for it. It is effortless for you and a whole lot of fun. And if you could make money doing it, you would make it your lifetime work. Focus on your core genius. Delegate other tasks to other team members. Delegate completely. Don't micromanage. Tell him what you want to get done and then ensure that, is, that it is done. The biggest mistake people make in life is not trying to make a living at doing what they love and enjoy the most. Make people pay you for what you love to do. Do what you love, the money will follow. And this was the uh, part number three of this uh, summary of this book. Now in next lecture, we will complete the summary of this book. Thank you all.